Hello and welcome to this week's Taking Stock. I'm Paula Thompson. And I'm Quinton McCullum. Our front page story this week looks at the federal budget and what it means for agriculture. Primary Producers SA Chairman Rob Caron said it was a major disappointment there were no changes to the government's backpacker tax. As of July 1st, backpackers will be taxed 32.5% for the first dollar they earn. Mr Caron said this would have a huge effect not only on the state's horticultural industry, but also pastoral businesses and regional tourism. He said the tax cut in the budget for small businesses was welcome. An order has revealed SA farmers received less than $4 million of the $60 million made available through the federal government's farm finance and drought concessional loan schemes. Just three of 14 SA applicants were successful for the drought concession loans, despite many upper southeast farmers battling their lowest three years of rainfall on record. There has been moves made to establish a working group to look at changes to the scheme's eligibility and criteria and framework. Beef prices have come back slightly in the past few weeks while there's been a spike in lamb prices. Higher lamb prices are on the back of supply dwindling and also concerns about export volumes out of New Zealand. Meanwhile, beef prices have crept downward slightly due to ongoing dry conditions and the lack of feed, as well as a higher Australian dollar. There is a significant gap in store and prime cattle markets at the moment, and Spence Dixon Co's Jonathan Spence said he could see this trend continuing into the near future. The 18-month global dairy price slump and a price drop by milk processor Murray Goldburn is set to have a big impact on the industry. Prices have dropped below the cost of production for many farmers, another blow on top of a tough season. Dairy industry officials hope the price drop is only temporary. That's it for this week. See you next time.